Here I am in the smart infrastructure zone in the uh, Institution of Civil Engineers exhibition for its 200th anniversary. Just behind me are examples of uh, shell structures. Well, a shell is a form of structure that very efficiently carries the loads that are applied to it through the surface of the structure down to the, the ground and its supports. If you take a shell and you remove some of the material and concentrate that that you've removed into strips, you have a form of shell that you can call a grid shell. It's neither a shell nor a grid, it's a combination of the two. I'm going to tell you about the downland grid shell, which is a wooden roof over a building that was constructed for the Wealdon Downland Open Air Museum in Sussex. The first uh, use of this form of structure, the form of shell that uses wood in strips to make uh, a complex curved structure was invented by a German architect, Frei Otto, way back in 1976 when Frei Otto made a proposal for a new building to house the, uh, a garden festival in Mannheim. He needed an engineer to come and make the, the building work in practice. After looking all over the world, he found the famous uh, consulting engineers in London, uh, Arup. Within the engineering company of Arup, the, there was an engineer called Ted Happold. Ted Happold was always interested in an engineering challenge. So when a, a German architect came to him saying, uh, I can't find an engineer in Germany who will uh, do the engineering to show that this building will work in full size. Ted Happel said, well, I'm sure I have clever engineers working with me in London who can work out how to make this building constructible and how it can be safely made. Sadly, Ted Happold died in the 1990s, but those of us who worked with him knew his passion for this form of construction. And we were always keen to use it again. And when the, the client for the Downland Grid Shell came to us saying that they wanted a, an exciting, innovative form of construction, we came up with the idea of using this form of construction to be made largely of wood to align with many of the buildings in the museum. And in commissioning a new building, our client, the museum, wanted the building to be the, the best example of technology of our time. So within the engineering uh, of this structure, we were able to draw on the knowledge of the engineers who still worked in Bureau Happold, who had been part of the team who had made the Mannheim structure, and we were able to draw on the, the enthusiasm and skills of the younger engineers within the practice uh, to carry out analysis with modern computer techniques in predicting how, the, how it's going to be when you make it. This involves very complex analysis. What are the forces that are resisted? What are the wind loads that you put on it? What are the snow loads? How are those forces resisted within the structure? What stresses do they create in the structure? These are all the questions that the engineer has to answer. There were eight people on site, uh, one lead carpenter, one engineer, and six carpenters who were actually doing the, the forming of the shell. No cranes, uh, everything handled by hand, and slowly but surely, as the scaffolding was taken away from beneath the flat wooden structure, the pieces of wood fell into their doubly curved shape. Such a calm uh, construction process that when it finished in the spring, we found that birds had nested in the structure. This is the, the reward of uh, engineering. It shows that we can build with renewable materials. Those of us who are passionate about 
ensuring that the world should be sustained and we should go forward with the confidence that we're going to carry on forever. We can learn from this building that engineers can contribute to this sustainable solution. I've been working as a civil engineer for a great many years and in that time I've, I've worked on many projects. I've been telling you about this particular project which I think shows many examples of why engineering is so exciting but it's not the only project that I've worked on that's given me satisfaction. Engineering as a profession is, 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 is so exciting because you're always creating something from nothing. You're always using what you've learnt and drawing on what you've seen and on every project, whatever it confronts you with, it builds your confidence in being able to provide solutions.